Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to a restaurant in Bellagio Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today is my birthday, so I am here with my dad and sister. We are trying Prime Steakhouse, and it is our first time here. So I'm going to be reviewing this restaurant and telling you guys what we ordered and if I liked it or not. And there was a QR code since there is COVID, there is no physical menu, and isn't the view gorgeous? So first, they gave all of us a plate of bread and butter. And to be honest, I didn't really like the bread because it tasted like a pretzel rather than like a bread with butter. It tasted like a pretzel that you would dip with cheese, so the bread was not my favorite. So for appetizer, we got beef carpaccio and also uh, salmon sushi. So the salmon sushi has crispy rice on the bottom and it was so good. For appetizer, I highly recommend getting the crispy salmon sushi. So you have a piece of sushi on top or sorry, a salmon on top and on the bottom is crispy rice. So on the outside, it's crispy, but on the inside of the rice is super soft. It's kind of like a kind of like sticky rice. It's so good. Highly recommend. And it has chipotle mayo for the sauce. And I'm obsessed with the sushi. I totally would have ordered another plate, um, but probably next time because this is our first time here and we wanted to try like a few things. And then the other appetizer was beef carpaccio. It has a vinaigrette, parmesan cheese, and also arugula. And it was not my favorite because I don't know, I feel like the flavor wasn't to my tasting. It was a little bit sour, um, but to compare it, I, I just love the salmon sushi the most. So I highly recommend getting the sushi one rather than the beef carpaccio. And then for our main course, our entree, we got the A5 Japanese Wagyu steak and you guys, it was so good. For sides, we got truffle mashed potatoes and also uh, wine, I think it's called wine and mushrooms. And then there are three sauces. I forgot what they were called, but I'll put it in the text there. Um, there was one sauce that was my favorite. I love pouring it into the mashed potatoes, you guys. The mashed potatoes was so soft and so good with the truffles. And then this mixed mushrooms are so good. And I just love the flavor. Get the steak, the mashed potatoes, and the mushrooms is such a good combination. I just loved it. So the beef, the A5 Japanese steak was $60 for one ounce and we got six ounce total so about two ounce for each person. So the three sauces that they gave us for our steak was soy rice wine, bernay, and also peppercorn. So those three and peppercorn is basically kind of like black pepper kind of sauce and then bernay it was kind of like a thick creamy sauce. It wasn't my favorite the a flavor. I can't remember what the flavor tastes like, but it wasn't my favorite, but my favorite was the soy rice wine. It was so good. I love putting it onto my truffle mashed potatoes. It's so good. Highly recommend getting this steak. If you guys do come here, I know it's expensive, but this is my first time trying the A5 Japanese Wagyu steak and it's so good and so soft. It's like melting in my mouth. And it's so good with the mushrooms and also the mashed potatoes and it's just delicious. So you guys, I have to say that this is my favorite restaurant in Las Vegas now. I'm definitely going to come here many more times and the view is just amazing, so beautiful. And I'm not going to play the music because like it's, it's going to be copyright. But you guys, the music is so nice and it's just so beautiful. And they do have heaters for you guys because it's winter, so it's really cold. Uh, but they have heaters, so it's a really nice atmosphere. Also, like I said, it is my birthday. So they have a little candle for me and there's two macaroons. So the flavor is, I think it was uh, passion fruit and coconut. The passion fruit one, the orange one, was really good. And it was pretty windy because the door was open so the candle kept getting lit um lit out or sorry burned out but that was really nice i love the little happy birthday on the plate and for dessert we got creme brulee there is a shortbread on top and also uh ice cream and there's also a mint leaf and then we also got this i think it was like a, a pineapple mango lemon cheesecake um but I totally recommend getting the creme brulee. It was really good. 
it, I hope I totally recommend getting the creme brulee over the cheesecake if you like something sweet and more creamy. And I'm trying the creme brulee, and you guys, it's so good. Highly, highly recommend. A 10 out of 10 dessert. Love it so much. And then for the cheesecake, we got the New York cheesecake, and it has a mango glaze on the outside. And to be honest, it really wasn't my favorite because it didn't have like that graham cracker. Uh, cookie on the bottom of the cheesecake like a regular cheesecake would have so it is a bit sour and the consistency it was pretty good but it wasn't my favorite uh, still love the creme brulee over it so uh, in the end my review for this restaurant I definitely love this restaurant a lot the wagyu beef was so good I love the creme brulee everything was really good I love the uh, crispy salmon sushi for appetizer uh, cheesecake wasn't my favorite but still i love the creme brulee and i love the happy birthday thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday so this restaurant prime steakhouse i'm giving an 11 out of 10 highly recommend and that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this review on prime steakhouse at bellagio casino please subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at trish easton travels and use my hashtag and i will see you guys next friday Bye!